Hey guys, welcome to a Cascade Gaming Diablo 4 Season 5 video. So this is the season of Infernal Hordes and we are following the storyline. So just an FYI, there are two storylines. Um, one is of Lambs and Wolves and the second one is the Eyes of the Enemy which will unlock at World Tier 3. So we've got a little bit until I actually find the quest objective here. <laughs> um, so I can go through a few quick housekeeping issues um, before we get into that. Just to let you guys know, um, Diablo 4 is free to play on Steam this weekend. So if you have any friends who were kind of interested and a little bit unsure of if they want to play it um, and, it, you know, unsure about I guess, you know, if they would enjoy the game or anything like that, um, just give them a heads up that this weekend it is free to play on Steam. Um, the Mother's Blessing event, I believe, is finishing or will be finished by the time this comes out. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so this season, um, I've got to say the two storylines have been quite interesting. They've been pretty fun. Um, the Infernal Hordes has been great, so yeah, I'd, if you haven't given it a try, definitely give it a go. You've still got until the 8th of October when the, the expansion launches um, to give it a try. And, you know, obviously getting the, um, getting the, the battle pass is completely optional. You don't have to do it. There are some cool items in there, but yeah. Um, it is definitely optional and you will see when I picked up that shrine that was where the quest objective is to go and I completely missed it so just um, enjoy a little bit of crazy running around leveling for me trying to find where the heck I'm supposed to be going because I was I was so distracted by um, all of the different enemies all right so your quest actually starts in Zabinzet so what you want to do is you head basically outside of Zabinzet, there's a big circle, um, and it's right by that shrine that I just picked up. So the, the leveling is, is pretty good um, this season. I, I can't, can't say that I've had any, had any issues with the leveling up. Um, as you can see, the the herbs now go for bundled herbs which is fantastic um that has been in existence for like a, a little while um but you know if you haven't played in a bit that is something to remember and this season yes i am going for the hydra meteor build again um i think i've perfected it this time though so You'll, you'll basically, over the next three hours, um, you guys will see that full storyline. You'll see me adventuring around with my, um, with, with my self-made build. Um, I will put a link to my self-made build because it is almost complete. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that should be, should be interesting for you, if nothing else, to, you know, see what, see what a fire build can actually do in the game. Um, when we get some some really cool um, aspects that we can put onto our gear. So I'm not going to be talking the whole time. I just thought that like right at the start where I was completely lost would be a good opportunity to, to have a quick chat about all of this. So what you'll what you'll be seeing is the storyline. We'll be seeing the um, quest requirements. So some of them do ask you to go into what are called hell breaches, um, which are kind of mini dungeons. They're pretty cool. Um, very much, very much similar to previous seasons mini dungeons. Um, there are three hell breaches to go into, and yep, I go into go into all of them. So you'll get to have have a bit of a look at sort of how those work. All right. So I'm back in the city, and I'm just like, at the moment, I'm like saying. Oh my god, where on earth is this a quest objective? Like I said, completely lost, but you'll you'll see how it goes. So for crowd control for this build, um, I do have my fire armor and I've chosen Frost Nova um, just to sort of pop out so I can quickly dart away from the enemies that are floating around trying to murder me. So as you can see, she's very lost. <laughs> Um, but 
I think it worked out beneficially in the end because uh, I did get a chance to level up a bit. So another thing to consider with this fire build is that it is very resource hungry. So later on when I get my hydras and I get my meteor and my stuff or coronet, um, it becomes a little a little less mana hungry so I can generally um, do my incinerate for forever. Um, but at the moment it's mana hungry so you do need to keep that in mind if you can get anything with resource regeneration that's something really good to look at especially during leveling all right come on you're almost there <laughs> just a little bit more to the left See, one thing I do like about this game, it doesn't, it holds your hand for sure, but it doesn't super hold your hand. It's like when you get close, it's not like going, hey dummy, come over here. This is where um, the little house is. But um, yeah, doing doing the running run around and leveling up was, I think, definitely very beneficial. There we go. She's got it. The, the quest objective. Alright, so I'm not going to be talking through the this entire run. Um, just at the, I guess, points where it's, you know, worthwhile for me to actually explain something. Or just if I want to, um, you know, pop in a little bit of, uh, I guess, um, <laughs> teasing myself about what I have and haven't done. Alright, so I'll definitely be quiet while all of the um, quest talking is on. Alright, let's get this quest started, shall we? You! Set the fires! The Wanderer is on us! Everyone be calm! Calm? I invited the Wanderer to be our guest. Our boss? We are the Mother's Triumph. What's left of them? Most of our brethren have forsaken her. It is they who welcome hell into our world. We want to destroy these heretics, same as you. Now, I know much blood has been shed between us, but the tides of hell are rising, just as the mother foretold. No one can stop them alone, not even you, Wanderer. We can tell you how to find the Triune, crush their demons, even steal their power for your own. What say you? Oh, blessed Mother. To begin, we offer a taste of the Mother's power. Your birthright. Oh, sure, why not? Take a basic sacrifice. Nothing too unsavory. It's always something a bit gross with these triune churchy folks who were praising Mother Prava. As you know, she's definitely not my favourite. Nothing new. 
All right, so the mother's gift is what you want to be getting during the season. Um, there are, there's quite a few levels to it. You get some pretty decent goodies. And uh, yeah, so at every level you get rewards. Um, farming Helltide is a really great way to get lots of mother's gift. And you can always um, put points into it, um, same as last season with the urns. Now, we cast hell out of sanctuary. Starting with the Triune Heretics. I will work to discover their plans. As for you, with or without our help, I pray you'll destroy every living one of them. Speaking of which, the tide will be rising soon. Best get to it. When you've got something to show for your efforts, I'll be in Zarbenzet. Okay, so you travel to Zarbenzet basically to um, redeem the rewards. And with previous season journeys, exactly the same as this one, um, leveling that up is an important part of getting a full completion for your season journey. So this is just an example to show you guys getting um, the mother's blessing. You stink of brimstone, friend. A marked improvement, I'd say. You sound like Lochran. For the good of sanctuary. Don't pretend you don't crave power. Not to me. You've taken to the gift faster than I expected. If you want more, the Triune will provide. Word is, they're gathering near Omath's redoubt. Give them my best. Okay, so this is the first breach that you need to go and do, Omath's Redoubt. So it's right there to the um, east of Gearcol. So that's where you'll be wandering off to. Um, and just for some giggles, um, I didn't go straight into the breach. I actually decided to try my luck at level six with a world boss. So you do need to do 10 world bosses um, for your seasonal journey. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the upcoming um, dumpstering of me doing Wandering Death at level six. But I'm, I must admit, I got the timing down in the end. So here you go. Here, here are some giggles for you.
So yes, we have had a couple of deaths to the Wandering Death. Um, I think that's okay at, <laughs> at level seven. Um, but luckily for, for like right at the end, you get to see a perfect execution of what to do when he shoots out his horrible rays. So <laughs> yeah, if you still struggle with Wandering Death, um, this is the way you're supposed to do it, not the way that I've been doing it previously. See, there you go. Basically, you just stick, stick close to him while he turns, um, and that's kind of the sweet spot. And there we go, that's the, the first of the ten world bosses that you need to do. So, now... It's time to gather up some rewards, which is always fantastic when it's early levels. And then we shall head to Omath's Redoubt. Thanks. Okay, so here we are with our very first breach that we're going to, to do. Um, they're not too bad. They do get a little repetitive, but in my, in my experience, I had a lot of fun doing them. Um, you can, at the end, or at different parts of it, you can sort of choose the difficulty of your enemies. Um, it took me up until the third try to actually successfully, um, beat the, the, the higher difficulty level boss, but that's okay, it is what it is. So those, like, little purple flames on the ground, that's your mother's gift. So that's why the Helltide's really good, because they drop super frequently from demons. I will say, I enjoyed these a lot more than the little mini dungeons from the Season of the Construct. Um, the Soul Spires, the Aether Masses, the Aether Lords, they're, they're actually all quite fun. So you can actually hit those hands and it spawns a, spawns a portal so you get even more demons come out. So that's another fun little objective. Just hit the hand and just wait for them to pop up. And, you know, there you go. It's basically free XP.
So as you can see, we are getting very close to getting some um, good season season objectives done. Um, at the time of you guys seeing this, I have actually completed it all. So yeah, um, we've we've gone all the way through to champion. So you see, you can have a look there and have a look at um, all the different ones that exist and you can kind of plan out your season journey there's still so much time to get all of this done um it's it's pretty it's pretty fun to to be very honest and a lot of them are a lot easier than previous seasons um lilith is not even on the list so you don't even have to worry about killing her um but tormented duriel and tormented andariel are on the list and i recommend doing them both because honestly they're pretty fun Right, so now it is time to choose which dungeon we go into. Hellfire or Soul Spires? So you've got sort of the Burning Rain and Corrupted Spires, and you'll see all different kinds of ones like this um, throughout doing these um, breaches, and also when you go into the Infernal Legion. Um, with the Infernal Legion, every round you get a choice of one of three options to do. So... Um, there is a tier list out there for which ones give you the best ether and the best mother's gift. Um, so I believe Rob has done that. So if you want to have a look, it's floating around everywhere. Um, I saw it on the, the D4 subreddit if you want to jump on there and have a look. But, you know, if you want to optimize your runs, it does exist. So I personally don't mind the Soul Spire ones. It's basically you stand in this, in this area and kill all the things so nice and easy and we've hit level 11 and we've already completed level one of the season journey and we also have mother's gift waiting to be collected and so as you can see here i'm just having a quick look at oh my god i've picked up some stuff useful stuff finally um so do do remember to um keep popping in all of your your new gear as you pick them up especially at early levels and don't fill up your bank with lots of useless stuff because once you're onto world tier 4 you'll be getting stuff with multiple greater affixes on them and obviously you want everything with as many greater affixes as you can possibly get. So I've seen some pretty good ones, I don't have any fantastic ones yet, I still have not picked up a mythic item so what we used to call the uber uniques, they are now called mythic and they show up as purple. Um, you can have a little little bit of a squiz of how I'm popping in some of my skill tree there. Um, I had to sort of make a choice between editing bits and pieces out and honestly during this it's not really worth it. Um, so yep, I hope you enjoy having a bit of a look into how my mind's working here. Um, but yes, uh, so as I was saying, it's there's not really any purpose to keeping useless gear. Keep your, keep your mythics, your uber uniques. Um, keep your unique items, but just keep in mind that anything that you pick up, you're almost definitely going to be upgrading it to stuff with greater affixes once you're in World Tier 4 and once you're sort of hitting the sort of 90 plus kind of level range. So, um, and as I previously said, with this build, it is very, very mana hungry. So. For, for while you're leveling, anything with resource regeneration, 
um, you're gonna love it. I'm not sure about the other builds. I've seen some other really fantastic builds. Um, one is like Hydra with Frozen Orb. It seems to be absolutely wrecking face. Um, they had to tone down one of the lightning builds because it was literally crashing the game. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's quite interesting. It's been very fun this season, I have to say, especially with the support builds that um, you can make with the Druids and Barbarians. Um, it makes it really worthwhile to team up. However, um, up until I finished the capstone, I did this completely solo. So no help from my friends and it was starting to get a little lonely by that point. So there we go, we've done, we've done the objectives for this dungeon so far. So now we just have to basically choose which boss we want to kill. See that frost nova is really good. I think if you if you've got a kind of squishy build, I think I like armor capped myself at around level sixty, so, and I've just kind of kept that armor cap level up just to try and offset because I've been playing by myself so much. Um, so yeah, that is something to consider, but obviously not really stress about. Um, like I said, until you get to higher levels and you you know going further in the game all right so we've got an empowered hell caller and a tempered hell caller um with all of the breaches that i did i did pick the empowered ones um so those were a little bit stronger and it did take me until the third try to to actually get it down but it's it's really great if you've got the hydras because you can basically pop them down and dodge all around the place so i'm having a bit of a look i'm like where can i put my points Oh my gosh, because I definitely had the idea of what I wanted to do, but uh, yeah, I was, I was sort of, you know, getting it down in the execution, but so yeah, I picked Empowered because I wanted to open the, the, the bigger chests, but um, it's up to you which, whichever one you want to do. Like I said, once, you, once you've kind of got the hang of how these guys work, um, you don't have to stress too much. So I really could have just popped down my hydras and then just darted all around the place and just tried to avoid the guy. But they they do hit a little bit hard when you're at lower levels. Yeah, I could, could have probably ignored the, the buddies that he spawned and just just really focused on him. So learn from learn from my mistakes. <laughs> Unfortunately, a bit of a double KO situation there, which kind of sucked. Um, but you know, we've we've got some got some ether, so we can get some rewards. It's it's not like I said, not dramatic at the lower levels. And if you're lucky, some of them will be whispers, so you can uh, get that sorted out. And I had no idea what I was doing with the chests at the, that time, so I'm like, hey, just open any chests. And uh, yeah, then just ended up not having enough to open the last one. But that was because I died, so. <laughs> but the good thing with the chests is you can open them multiple times. Same with the, um, the infernal hordes. Okay, so we are back in Zarbonset, but I thought it might be a good opportunity to have a, have a bit more of a look into the chapter objectives, so all the way through to the end, and to also have a look at some of the rewards for the battle pass. Um, I hadn't gotten my battle pass at this point, but I 
I did end up getting the the middle level battle pass which I think is probably the best value because the end one the only real benefit is it gives you 20 level skips and honestly you are going to you're going to burn through those by the time you hit level 100 so I wouldn't even stress about it Take a look at you. Eyes like burning coals. Your powers are growing so fast. I'm beginning to think I'm missing out. Reckon I'll join you on this next one. Kill a few heretics, steal their power. There's plenty for both of us up on Mount Sebo. See you there, yeah? There we go. So we've killed some more demons and we have rewards. And also, as you keep going, you get um, the next quest objectives. are slaves to hatred the last thing we had in common died when you killed our mother let's bloody go yeah so just a word for the wise it still doesn't like you very much um try not to to take it to heart she she seems generally unpleasant but we are heading in towards the next help reach so you can kind of see it on the map there we just have to go the long way around You've always got to go the long way around.
Okay, so you'll see here that these ones are different from the last time. Um, like I said, there's, there's a variety of them and you just have a look at them and see, oh, okay, then this looks, you know, I don't mind the look of this or I don't mind the look of that. You know, just give them all a try and see which ones you prefer. So here we go for the hell callers again and of course I choose the more difficult one and again I do not succeed but it's not too bad. Like I said you just need to give it a try until you figure out sort of the the swing of how the boss works. It's not really dramatic um, not getting ma the maximum amount of ether at this level. Okay, but I will say the next one, I actually get it. So, you know, definitely something to be happy about. Your powers of observation astound. Indeed, it is stronger. If I'm right, it might be burning ether, the very core of a demon's essence. You can leave this with me. Keep the triune busy while I suss it out.
So as you can see, there is a lot of back and forth to Zarbenzet, to Istal. Um, don't worry about it too much. It doesn't take too much time. I learned I was right. We found a moat of burning ether, just as our tomes describe. The black abyssal core from which a demon is reborn. Oh, very exciting. If I can harness this ether, we could crush the triune, turn the tides, even put Mephisto in his place should he rear his head again. Steady on now. You had power enough to charge into hell and walk out alive. And still you crave more. The rest of us, meanwhile? You should go. The heretics have descended on Tardulra. I'm sure the druids can't handle it. Okay, so we've got the last breach to do. Um, I'm not sure if you have to clear Tuldura, the stronghold, um, but I did just to have a, a waypoint close to it. So up to you if you want to if you want to do that or not. It is outside the city, so I don't believe you actually have to clear the stronghold. That being said, um, strongholds are on the list for the seasonal achievement, so you know, give it a go.
Okay, so Hydras are powered up. Let's choose the Empowered Hellcaller. And basically, we're just going to run around and let the Hydras do all the work. So, as I said, it's not super important to get all the Aether at these levels because you're going to be replacing all of your gear anyway. Um, but, you know, it's just the satisfaction. It's the, you know, it's the, <laughs> it's the satisfaction. It's, it's the principle of the matter at this point, really. But as I said, build up those Hydras and then just let them sit there and do all the work for you. That's what minions are for. Down he goes, success, and we get to open the big fancy chest this time. So, very nice. Fantastic. So, we've got a few better items that we're probably going to replace immediately, but hey, at least we got it done. news oh yes well it seems that no matter how many triune you kill the tides just keep rising it seems like you need help getting the job done lucky for us i've worked out a ritual to harness that burning ether meet me at the house you'll want to see this because that's not scary and disturbing sounding at all. So let's head back to the little house and uh, see what distal has got in store for us. I can't believe it's going to be anything good. Nah, don't go getting squeamish on me now. No power comes without sacrifice, right? Yeah, someone's a little salty that their creepy ritual didn't work. So the next objective is to gather a thousand mother's gifts. And the best way to do that is to go into the Helltide. 
So that's where you should be heading next. Right, so around level 45 is a pretty easy time to um, start heading in for the World T th Tier 3 capstone. So, yep, just, you know, it's it's the same capstone as, as usual. So in you go, level 45, you'll be fine.
And there we have it, the World Tier 3 capstone complete. So by opening World Tier 3, just keep in mind that you do get access now to the additional quest line, the Eyes of the Enemy, where you'll be running around with Lochran doing stuff. Um, I did die a couple of times during that quest line, but it's, it's more user error than um, actual extreme difficulty of the quest. Um, like I said, playing a very squishy character but let come on let's not excuse um the fact that i like made some mistakes <laughs> but yeah so let's get straight into world tier 3 and um this should be much better for us now so you know you go to go to the statue open up world tier 3 and then off we go so now that world tier 3 is open you'll see the eyes of the enemy quest pop up so let's go and have a chat to Lochran and see what he's gotten himself up to he seems to be in a bit of a pickle so I think he needs us to help him out all right so once you've had a quick chat to Lochran he gives you a quest to head to the ruins of Rockart Keep um, to basically go and kill some kill some heretics and this is the quest continuing
I know this place well. The veil between our world and hell is quite thin here by the Black Tomb. That must be why they chose it. I need more. We should search their camp. came for Sankagor, Mephisto's own hatred in his corpse. They would magnify it a thousandfold and tear open the veil. <laughs> but they couldn't get through the bloody door. Come with me. We'll put Sankagor to bed for good. search for you, I retraced your steps here, only to find your Haradrim sealed this door. Very tricky, but easily circumvented. Not that Elias taught me himself. Okay, in we go. hatred could have been banished to hell long ago. The best the Sakharun could do was stick it in a box. We open it up, purge the corpse, and the Triune's plan will be dust. <laughs> and we'll proceed. <sighs> Blessed Mother, be with us. All right, stand back. Where is the body? <sighs> Mother's blood, the hatred! Sagikor is down there somewhere. We need his body intact. Every piece. We'll have to be quick. This talisman will shield us from the Lord's hatred. But I can't say for how long.
Light, seal the ears that delighted in our cries. Slim's face. Give it to me. Poisoned our faith. Let it speak for hatred no more.
to be one last job over there. That watched our innocent burn. Let them rot in darkness. Turn the other parts to the corpse.
I purged Sankakura's body and the demon that followed. But my eye... I saw into the realm of hatred. Even without Mephisto, his legions rise. They press against the veil. And the Triune have already damaged it beyond repair. It's only a matter of time. Hell will conquer Sanctuary. I, I need to get out of here. I need to think. Meet me outside. Hell is eternal. Kill all the Triune you want. Slaughter the legions on every continent. Hell will keep coming until they break through the veil. There is only one thing left to do. I can take you through the Hellgate. And you will face the demons in their own realm. Push them screaming to the edge of the abyss. Perhaps you will buy us... ...by humanity... ...the time to find another way. Nor a moment's peace before the end. I'll await you at the Hellgate. Alright, so awesome. We just hit level 50 and basically we're he heading to the Chaldeum Imperial Palace because we are going back down into Hell to continue with this quest chain. Um, this is the bit that I had a little bit of trouble with, but I'm sure that you guys will be fine and it's really just me. But before we do that, let's maybe uh, check in on Istel, shall we? You came back. Not sure why I came, to be honest. Maybe just to look at these sorry bastards strung up around town. Doesn't matter anymore why they did what they did, does it? Hatred got them in the end. The mother, she... She couldn't help what she was, but she wanted us to fight. To be free from hatred. She said so. In her teachings. I've kept them all in my grimoire. Maybe you'll find a use for them. But whatever you do. Don't let hatred win. Lilith stood by a burning pyre and spoke to her children of hatred. The righteous believe themselves to be strong, she said, worthy above all others. But in their contempt of the enemy, they fall easily to his will. Remember the power in your own free will and let no one, angel or demon, take it away from you. And there we go, Yistel's story is now complete, so we have to finish um, Lochran's story down into um, into Hell, and uh, yeah, so we're just going to continue collecting the Mother's Gift because we do want to get that to max level, um, because you get some really good rewards. So, heading into Hell, always a fun journey.
join us below. You are awaited. I finished my task. 
I... I opened the way for you. But they will never stop. Tell me you hold them back. Tell me... There is... Yeah, thanks for that, Lochran. You basically just unleashed the Fell Council onto Sanctuary. Good job, buddy. Um, but those are some of the bosses that you will be fighting in the Infernal Legions when you get your Infernal Compasses. So yeah. Like, cheers for that. But that is also the end of Lochran's quest. So now it opens up and shows you the infernal compasses to face the infernal hordes. It's always in the same location, so you know you can teleport immediately to it, same as a regular dungeon. And they do come in multiple waves. So like the lower levels, you'll probably get. I think it's like six waves for like level two, and then it's like it's more, more and more and more waves, and just with greater and greater difficulty. So. The Infernal Hordes are very fun, so I do recommend um, giving those a go. You do get the chance to see the Burning Butcher as well, so I think we've got a clip of the Burning Butcher here to, to show you later. Well, well. So we've gathered the gift, and exactly the same as previous seasons, where you continue to get the rewards, It's this is how it works. So you just collect the Mother's Gift through an awful lot of hell tides and through doing the infernal compasses and uh yeah it's it's quite fun so highly recommend and also you can't forget about all the goodies okay so now that we're here let's give an infernal horde a try um you guys have probably seen the individual video that I've done on the Infernal Hordes already, but you know, just for funsies, I thought, hey, let's go, let's go and run one of these, shall we? So level one of the Infernal Hordes, it's actually going to give you instructions on how it works and and all that sort of stuff, you know just with the little basic pop-ups um so yeah just keep that in mind and also just have fun there's demons coming from every side and you can choose what demons you go up against it's actually like it's actually super super fun Yeah! 
So there we are, six waves complete. Um, make sure you go and, you know, kill all the stragglers and then the doors for the Hell Council will open. So just grab all the Mother's Gift, grab all the ether that's floating around on the ground, and then you head into the Hell Council. And it's not the same enemies every time. So, yeah, you just, uh, it depends on how lucky you are as to which ones you get. And there we have a tier one complete. So basically it just gives you a few more instructions on the infernal compasses. Um, find them in hell tides. You can upgrade them with the abyssal scrolls. Um, so abyssal scrolls drop from all sorts of things um, during the hell tide. They drop from the spoils of materials. So this one here that I'm just going over to now. But basically there's like heaps of gem fragments and things like that. So, you know, Unless you're specifically looking to upgrade um, gear and you're in the higher level Infernal Hordes, I'd say, you know, d d like split it evenly. Like you don't, don't have to get like a billion pieces of gear, but getting the materials is always worthwhile because remember, at higher levels, the gems cost so many fragments that you're going to really, really regret not picking up all of the fra um, gem fragments here. Oh, and once once you're finished with those and you can't open any more of those two big chests, you see there's a small spoils of gold and you basically just open up that and gold pinata. Love to see it. Alright, so let's quickly uh, do the Burning Butcher. So it's the Stalking Devil one that uh, you want to want to grab. And um, unfortunately, he drops pretty quickly. I mean, not unfortunately for me, maybe for him. But uh, in he comes, meteors go down, and so does he. Right, so I've hit level 65. And I think it's about time to try our hand for the World Tier 4 Capstone. So, I hope you enjoy me running through the Tier 4 Capstone.
Boom. Down goes Elias, like the Saka poop that he is, and we have opened up World Tier 4. So level 65 seems to be an alright level to go in and do that, as you saw, didn't have too much difficulty with it. Um, don't forget to go and hit the statue for World Tier 4, so that you can open it up to all of the horrible delights of uh, the, the demons and the hell tides and everything. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, and you know, keep keep pushing your difficulty level higher with the infernal hordes and basically just have fun with it you know it's it's a good season i had a lot of fun and i hope you do too so thank you for tuning in um if you liked the video please like if you want to subscribe subscribe um i will be doing some twitch streams this week so tune in on thursday and sunday anyway i love you guys so much and i will see you guys really soon bye for now